Hi, I'm Anne-Sophie Van Nimmen. I went to Aston University in Birmingham and I'm currently studying business engineering. So why did I choose the UK? To be honest, um, Aston and, uh, wasn't really my first choice, um, but looking back, I wouldn't have had it any other way. Um, I chose the UK as my second option because it's a country that I knew the language of already. So I thought that I would be more comfortable um, interacting with local people, for example. Um, and I also really wanted to learn um, English by speaking it, he hearing it and um, uh, reading it all the time. It was absolutely not difficult to get used to the language. As I said, it's English. So we had uh, Business English 1, Business English 2. So it was not that hard to uh, get used to the lang language. It was um, harder to get used to speaking all uh, everyday English, I would say. So it's different than the business English that you learn in school. Um, but after being there for five months consecutively, I literally dreamed in English. So it wasn't that hard. I would say that the courses at, at Aston University are easier than at the uh, KU Leuven. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that the content is easier, depends on the courses that you choose. Um, but it does, uh, the courses are easier because um, the, they count for more grades. So you get less content for more ECTS grades, which means that uh, six point ECTS uh, graded course in Leuven would be a seven and a half uh, ECTS grades at Aston University. And in my opinion, uh, the seven and a half ECTS grades courses in Aston were even less content than the six ones here. So uh, it's not the content that is easier, but the workload is less. So as I said, the workload was less. What I did like a lot about the courses is that the professors were much more interactive. So the groups that you get classes in are smaller. Um, there's more group, group assignments, um, more tutorials and stuff. So um, when we had a group, exam, uh, a group assignment, for example, um, the professor was okay with the fact that you called him by his first name. So, finding accommodation in Birmingham was possibly the hardest thing I had to do uh, to actually enjoy my exchange. Um, the spots at the local um, college dorm are very limited for internationals especially for the exchange students that only stay there for one term. Uh, the company that arranges those dorms is called Unite Students. Uh, so Unite only offered 20 places for exchange students who wanted to stay the first term. Um, if you go to Aston, I can only advise you to apply as soon as possible for those places because I was a little too late. My three other fellow students from Leuven did get a spot. Um, so I started looking on the private market. Well, I can tell you it's really... It's such, such a hassle. It's really not nice. So um, in England, they don't really work with uh, the um, contracts that we know in Belgium. So for example, if you go looking for a cot in Leuven, you uh, start looking in March and you can find something for September. In England, that's not the case. If you start looking, they want you to move in two weeks afterwards. So for me, it was almost impossible to find something on the private market. Um, Eventually, if uh, those companies like Unite Students, there's some more around the university, uh, also like very big companies that rent out uh, thousands of rooms to students. 
And if they notice that not all of their rooms are being taken by students that stay for a whole year, they um, open up some spots at the end of um, August or beginning September. Um, as I was going to Birmingham on the 14th of September and I only got my spot uh, in the uh, United Students residence on, I think, somewhere mid-August, that was really stressful for me. Um, so I repeat it again, the only thing I can tell you to do is to really apply uh, as soon as possible for those spots in the United Students residence. I would definitely choose Assen again. As I said before, although it wasn't my first choice, I'm so, so, so grateful for this opportunity. Um, I really met friends for life at Aston. The number one pro that I could give you about this university is that it attracts a lot of international students. So when I was there, I think during the first term of uh, 2019, there were more than 200 exchange students, uh, most of them at the business faculty. So um, through my residence at uh, Unite Students, which was located on campus, Big Pro, um, I got to know friends for life, really, friends whom I'm still in contact with until today. Um, I think I Skyped with six of them last week. Uh, girls from Australia, Finland, Sweden, America. Um, it's really hard to communicate with them nowadays because of the time differences, but it really shows that it's um, the people that make your experience and not per se the city or the country, I would say. The best thing, I think that's uh, clear from my last response, I think the best thing about expe my experience of Erasmus in general are the people that I got to meet there. It's really eye-opening to meet people from all sorts of different backgrounds because they can teach you a lot about um, their culture and they can let you experience the fact that what you see as normal is not normal for everyone. For example, um, we tried to have a Thanksgiving dinner with uh, some friends at uh, the residence and my American friend we really wanted to make pumpkin pie, which is something very common in the United States to have while having a Thanksgiving dinner. But we could not find pumpkin puree and this is like the most common thing to find in the US in every supermarket. So that's just a stupid example to say that what we experience as normal in our daily lives isn't the normal that other people are used to. And it's really nice to um, have a broader view on life in general. And I think those people really um, gave that to me. Um, the worst thing I would say was finding the accommodation while being there. My accommodation was great though, so um, it's, it's really the, the, the process that led up to it that um, frustrated me and that was stressful. How would I describe my exchange in three words? I would say friends for life. So if someone could have given me one piece of advice to uh, live as a student in Birmingham, I would say go to the food market. Um, the prices in the supermarket are not spectacularly more high than in Belgium, but it depends on the um, valuation of the pound. If uh, the prices that you see are much more expensive for you, then um, they would be in, uh, in euros. So seeing um, a price tag of one pound might be deceiving as you might be paying 1.20 euros and it adds up. So 
In Birmingham, there's a food market where they sell a lot of fresh vegetables and uh, fruits. And they sell them in, in buckets, really. Uh, and you only have to pay one pound for each bucket. So what I would do, um, and I only, experience, I only um, realized that this market was there uh, after, I think, being in Birmingham for almost two months. Um, I actually saved a lot of money by going to the market with my friends from my residence who lived in the same apartment or the apartment next to me um, to go buy fruits and vegetables together so we could buy like for example two buckets of carrots two buckets of bell peppers and we would really have like a whole fridge full of food full of fresh um, vegetables and uh, fruits for maybe 10 pounds so that made life so much cheaper and it, it saves you a lot of money which is nice because on exchange food is not the thing that you want to spend the most money on I think I liked saving money um, for trips where I would go eat out and have a coffee with friends etc so saving money while you're actually uh, studying during the week um, I would really recommend going to the market. I think um, the very nice thing about this city is that it's very centrally located in the UK. Um, and that is why I would choose it again over other cities in the UK, because the um, public transportation by train is actually really um, well managed. Um, so it's very easy to take the train to London, for example. I, I made trips to London, uh, I made trips to Edinburgh, the Scottish Highlands, uh, to Bristol, to... Um, uh, what, what was it called? Um, Brighton, I think, and some other places as well, like national parks in Wales, etc. Um, so the the most pro thing i would say about birmingham is its central location in the uk so one thing you should not forget to pack when going to the uk more specifically going to aston is your sporting clothes and why is that um aston has many clubs and societies so um, I would definitely recommend you joining one of those university clubs or societies as there's really something for everyone. Um, I personally joined the uh, Aston Hockey Club and the Aston Photography Society. And um, so the hockey club, for example, had trainings on Monday. Uh, they had matches on Wednesday. They also um, did like... Uh, they went out together on Wednesday evenings. They had, um, uh, they all dressed up that evening and uh, played drinking games together. And then they went out to some kind of uh, club in Birmingham. Um, so it's really, it allows you to get to know the local people, which is very nice because I think, um, English people are not that, they are not anti-social towards um, foreigners, but it's very hard to meet local people while having a class because, as I said, the classes are meant to engage you. So it's not, um, you're not talking to your neighbor while listening to the professor talking. So it allows you to meet the local people which is really nice. The gym is also really nice at Aston. Gym membership is not that expensive. So I would really tell you to bring your sporting clothes and get moving. I think Birmingham is the perfect balance between nice nightlife and a good academic experience, plus some extra spare time to get to know other cities, get to know other people and have the time of your life.